Well, the city of Warner Robins is getting ready for the 39th annual Independence Day celebration tomorrow with three deadly shootings at the top of people's minds this week. The police department is ensuring that safety is a top priority for the event. 41 NBC's Ariel Schiller tells us what police are doing to prepare. The Warner Robins Independence Day celebration is happening on Saturday night, and if you've come in years past, there are some changes to note. Police Chief John Wagner says South Davis Drive will be closed from MLK Boulevard to Demon Valley Drive starting at around 6 p.m. Vehicles will be able to detour up Demon Valley or down Martin Luther King um, to navigate the area. Chief Wagner says the changes for Davis Drive come from safety considerations from last year's Independence Day celebration. He says it didn't make sense for traffic to flow behind the stage area. This is our version of making sure that somebody doesn't run into the back of our stage or run off the roadway, have a, have a, a medical problem or they're you know, under the influence of something and, and come off of Davis Drive and run into the back of the stage area. Mayor LaRonda Patrick is planning to attend her first Independence Day celebration as mayor with her family. She says the police department will be in full force on Saturday. They're monitoring all of the entry points to make sure everybody is safe and secure during our events. Um, they've done this, it's the 39th, so they are experts when it comes to throwing this event. So I am completely comfortable that we'll have everything we need. Following three shootings that happened earlier this week, Mayor Patrick says she's been brainstorming ideas with city leaders for proactive crime prevention and plans to announce specific ways the city will tackle the problem in mid-July. It's progressing nicely with a group of people, different backgrounds, a lot of them with public safety backgrounds as well, coming together with some great innovative ideas. Chief Wagner encourages people to have a good time this weekend, but asks that you keep violence and driving under the influence out of your plans. You can have a good time without getting violent. And uh, I, I think after this past week, you know, this, it's, it's a, a grim reminder of what can happen when, when emotions um, just boil over. Chief Wagner says things that are not allowed in the event include weapons and outside food and drink. If you have any questions about parking or what's allowed in the event and what's not, we'll have those listed on our website at 41NBC.com. Reporting in Warner Robins, Ariel Schiller, 41 NBC News. And again, gates for that event will open at 5 tomorrow night. Fireworks will start at 950 that's 5-0. The city of Warner Robins says you should check in with its social media channels for any updates, including weather.